Hello, this is Tom from Never Center, and in this video, I'm going to show you the new stuff we've added in Pixelmash 2024.0, our first 2024 release. And I've just made this uh, little bubble animation um, to show you what we've got for you, which is a long requested thing that I'm being a little bit coy about. But um, this animation, let's see how it's set up. We go to our animation tab. Oh, our animation tab is not there anymore. What? Well, if we go to the view menu, we can choose show animation timeline, and then you'll see this brand new lovely animation timeline. So this is our big addition for uh, Pixelmash 2024, is that we finally made a proper timeline. We'd had those other animation tools in uh, just because it was sort of a quick and easy thing to implement to get animation in, but now we finally got a proper timeline with keyframes and uh, all of this. So uh, let me just walk you through this. So this animation, these are all vector layers. So like um, this bubble is made of vectors that I can edit. This bubble is also and then they've both got highlights inside of them and they've got an outline effect applied to each of them that I can turn on and off. Um, so those are my layers and you can see right here let's go through each of these things in this animation timeline. So um, first of all we've got this settings button. I'll go through this just sort of piece by piece. We've got a settings button got a play button, an add and minus frame button. So let me uh, push the play button that pops up this preview window that you could always access by pressing the space bar. Um, this settings button, these are just settings that have been in the animation window before. I can change like the frames per second, slow it down to four, or speed it up to 10 or whatever. Uh, let's put it back at eight. Um, custom start and end frames, so this is if you don't want to export the whole animation, so we could do this just, so just as frames 1 through 6, and uh, boomerang through that, or going forward or backward through that. Uh, let me remove that so it does the whole animation. Um, okay, so that's that. We covered the play button. Obviously the add frames, delete frames buttons. Um, we'll add in delete frames that you can see on your timeline. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So when you see a dot in here that indicates uh, similar to what it did before in the old animation window that was over here, it indicates there's keyframes there. So um, on each of these bubbles, let's hide the small bubble so we're only working with the big bubble. Um, each of these keyframes, if I right click on it, it will tell me what is keyframed in that frame. So I right click and I can see I've got an image keyframe. So this is the, we've got the bubble shape down here and the highlight right here. With this bubble shape, we've got image keyframes, meaning uh, since this is a vector image, it's saying there's a, a separate vector image at each of those keyframes. So like if I, um, and I've got tweening turned on, and so that's what this little T right here is. So if I turn the tweening off, then as it plays the animation, it holds that shape then it goes to that shape, and then it goes to that shape, and then boomerangs back. And tweening makes it so long as there's the same number of points and curves that it will smoothly animate between those. So anyway, that's where I turn tweening on and off. This IK button, um, if I highlight this, uh, then you'll be able to see the pop-up that says, what this does, this toggles whether all frames for this layer should automatically be made image keyframes. So uh, usually you'll want to do that if you're if you're using raster layers. But like if I click this on for this bubble, it will ask me because it's going to make all of these frames be image keyframes, and every frame I add after that have an image keyframe. It wants to know if I want to copy the existing ones or use blank ones. I'll choose copy existing. So now on each of these keyframes, it is actually a whole new vector image on each of those. So like I say, it mostly makes sense when you're working with raster stuff. But when we've got these nice tweened um, vector image keyframes, then, um, then we let the tweening do the work in between here. 
Um, okay, so just let me let me just show you a few things. You can also right click on the headers of these frames to delete frames. Um, if I say I wanted to add another sort of set of um, frames here, so right now once it gets to frame 11, it's just going to hold that until it boomerangs back here. But um, I can copy and paste for many. Uh, for, frame to copy that keyframe and then uh, let's do this over on the big bubble so let's say I want to take the big bubble shape I want to right click and copy the keyframe and then I'll come here and paste the keyframe and then it will paste that the the vector image from that keyframe over here and whatever else is in that keyframe if there's transforms or whatever um, all right let's delete those um, then there's just a few handy things like um, you can right click in the header of this keyframe to clear all the keyframes from that frame. I'll undo that because we don't want that. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can uh, just click around in here. This will let you select your layers. So it's the same as clicking on layers up in here. So if I'm coming down here and I want to, you know, edit the got my vector tool I'll edit the shape of this bubble on this frame to go really big over here and then I'll edit the highlight little highlight on this frame to be like that um, anyway it just lets you quickly um, click around and adjust things and um, it's just way more intuitive than our old timeline uh, or then our old animation tool, which was not a proper timeline. So um, those are the basics of it. We plan to expand this quite a bit more in the future, uh, but we just wanted to get the, the basic features of this in now. Um, so we're going to be adding some exciting things soon to here. Um, just one other note of another thing that we've adjusted in this version of Pixel Mesh is that we've changed the order and the icons for some of these tools up here. So uh, we tried to make them a little bit more standard and a little bit more logically ordered. So hopefully you can find all the things um, that you're looking for. But um, let us know from the help menu. You can choose send feedback to send us feedback about what you think, what you'd like to see. And we hope that you'll enjoy this version of Pixel Mesh. Thanks.